Hello Internet. Today I will show you how to use your old scanner with VirtualBox. First we'll have to create a new virtual machine. And we're going to install Ubuntu on it, since it's free. And the default options will work fine for this. Now that we have created the virtual machine, we need to mount the installation image. Which in this case is the Ubuntu 11.10. Then we'll start the virtual machine. And begin the installation. Just select install Ubuntu and continue. And continue. And select where you live. Now you need to type in your name and your computer's name and a password. We will use automated login to speed up the login for the machine. So that each time we turn on this machine later on, we would not actually have to log in. We'll just have to turn the device on and then connect the scanner. And by the power of editing, I have speeded the uh, installation up a little bit. And then we'll restart the machine. And the machine should now automatically log in to the new desktop. Once the desktop is loaded, we'll connect our USB scanner. And then we will install the VirtualBox additions so that the uh, virtual box will understand that we've actually connected a USB device to it. Now you can see that the USB drivers don't install correctly on the, the Windows 7 machine because there are no drivers for that Canon scanner that we're using, which is the reason why we're using the virtual box in the first place. Now you're going to have to put the password that you used earlier into the authentication field to install the additions. And now the next thing we need to do is to start the scanner program. And then press scan.
now that we're done scanning, then we can save. And once we save to this folder, it'll go into the documents folder. And we can move the, uh, the new document to a USB stick, which we can do then use in other computers. just open the home folder and not the pictures folder and in the documents folder we can find find our scanned document and then we'll just copy paste it into our pen drive which has been attached in the same way that our scanner was attached. I will just detach it and we will remove it from the devices menu. And now it's now attached to your host computer and you can now directly copy the files from the USB stick.